in a series of uh, Java tutorials based on FRC Java. I am the lead programmer at Team 3313 Mechatronics. First off, I'm going to just walk you guys through installing. You're going to want to go to the, uh, for these tutorials I will be using NetBeans. You're going to want to go to netbeans.org slash downloads. And you can choose any of them that have Java acceptable, but I would very much recommend the farthest right column here, which will be loading in just a second. This just includes everything just in case you decide to go on to, for example, the C family. Once you get that downloaded, uh, start that up. It'll bring up a menu well, like this. Uh, you can just go ahead and go with the default settings. Just go ahead and accept all the terms of agreement and things like that. <clears throat> Okay, and I will cut back to the video when it's done installing. Okay, at this point the installation should be done. Um, unless you're planning on... If you're coming here from my uh, basic Java tutorials that I plan on doing in the future, you can go ahead and go to the next tutorial video now. If you're here for the robotics, then continue watching. The next step you're going to want to do is you're going to want to install the plugins for robotics itself. Now you're going to have to start up NetMeans and go to this site here. Um, I'll put, put a link in the description below, and or you could just go to Google and do a search for FRC Java. Yeah, it should be towards the top of the list. Okay, once you're here, you're going to go to File Releases. You're going to want to go down to 2012 Java Updates. Um, depending on when you're watching this, it might be a different set. Uh, they should all be the same, though. And then in here, go to the NetBeans Modules. And download this top one here. While that is downloading, depending on how fast your internet is, you can get some other things set up in here. Uh, with NetBeans uh, 7.2.1, these sidebars here are not default on. So in, to get those, you're going to want to go to Window and Projects. That'll open up this one. And also, you're going to want to open up Properties. That's not necessary for FRC, but it's helpful if when you're doing actual Java applications. Okay. Once you've got that, you're going to want to unzip it to any folder you want to, really, doesn't matter where. And once you've got that done, you're going to go back to NetBeans. In Tools here, there's a menu called Plugins. Open that up. Once everything is loaded up here, you want to go over to Installed. It's changed a little bit. Yeah, go over to downloads, click add plugins. And now you're gonna to want to navigate over to where you unzip those. And go ahead and select all six of them. Click open. And it'll get those here. Now you're also going to want to go over to settings here and you're going to want to add a repository. This just makes it so that whenever there are updates you don't have to go in and manually update all of them. You're just going to go back to the download page here, copy this address, put 
put it in with the URL here and name it whatever you want to. I'm just going to call it FRC Java. And it's going to check for updates right away. Now, if you download it from the internet, um, you shouldn't need any updates here. It should be up to date already. If you click on it, it just show you some basic info about it. Now, you're going to want to go back and actually check all of these and click install. Just to go ahead and agree to the terms. <clears throat> it's going to say they aren't signed, just go ahead and go ahead and restart it. That concludes the installation tutorial. Next uh, tutorial is going to be starting up a basic robot Java and setting up some basic joystick and drive controls.